Earlier, I made three videos on population growth. In my fourth video today, I discuss about the maximum sustainable yield of population of an ecosystem. Before that, we just revisit the logistic growth. Population projections are often mathematically modeled with a logistic or A-shaped, that is sigmoidal growth, growth curve. It suggests an early exponential growth phase while conditions for growth are optimal, followed by slower and slower growth as the population nears the carrying capacity of its environment. So you can see the graph there and I made a detailed video uh, of, uh, on, on logistic growth. So for details, please visit my earlier video whose link are given in the describe, uh, description box. So mathematically, the logistic card is derived from the following differential equation. dn dt is equal to rn into 1 minus n by k, where n is the population size, k is called the carrying capacity of the environment, and r is the growth rate constant. So what is maximum sustainable yield? In population biology, the maximum sustainable yield of an ecosystem is the maximum rate that individuals can be harvested or removed without reducing the population size. The logistic curve is used, used to determine it. Imagine, for example, harvesting fish from a pond. If the pond is at its carrying capacity, there will be no population growth. Any fish removed will reduce the population. Therefore, the maximum sustainable yield will correspond to some population less than the carrying capacity. So, in fact, the yield is as same as DNDT. It is also, uh, you know, the slope. The maximum yield will correspond to the point of the logistic curve where the slope is maximum, that is its infection point. So, if I consider, uh, this is a sigmoidal curve. So, this point is actually the inflection point. In other ways, you can understand like this. If this is a you know, sigmoidal curve. So this point is called the inflection point. So by setting the derivatives of the slope equal to zero, we can find uh, this point. So derivative of this will be zero then we reach the maximum sustainable yield point. So this is our equation and here we can Rn is equal to Rn square by k. <coughs> so and we take a derivative of dn dt is equal to 0 and we ultimately reach here and we cancel of r and r and dn dt with dn dt then we find we found 1 is equal to Two n by k. So from here we can derive this that one minus two n by k is equal to zero, and then n star is equal to k two by t. 
two. N star is the population at the maximum yield point. So you can find that maximum yield point will be the as same as the half of carrying capacity. That is, if population growth is logistic, then maximum sustainable yield will be obtained when the population is half the carrying capacity. So this is a question of a uh, net national eligibility test. So one question was that that population in of an ecosystem obeys a growth rate equation d n d t is equal to alpha n minus beta n square. Our alpha and beta are constant. What will be the maximum sustainable yield of this ecosystem? That means it follows the logistic growth rate. So if I consider this equation with our logistic growth equation here, I just write dn dt is equal to you know r n minus r n square by k. So by comparing these two, we find that r n is equal to alpha n that means r is equal to alpha and r n square k is equal to beta n square therefore r by k is equal to beta now I, if I put alpha in place of R, then alpha by K is equal to beta. Therefore, K is equal to alpha by beta. So, as we know, as we know that carrying capacity is equal to K by 2, so, so from here we can write k by 2 is equal to alpha by 2 beta. So this is our answer. Now we go for another exercise that in population of a certain fish species in a pond follows a logistic equation here and alpha and beta are given the not will be the our maximum yield so now we already know that the maximum yield n star is equal to k by 2 that is alpha by 2 beta so alpha is equal to 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.01 so so the answer will be 25 so thank you thank you for watching this video